And if you didn't already know, it's Friday, our favorite day of the week for so many reasons. And one of the reasons, of course, is it's Food Truck Friday. Today we're checking out Food Truck 5280. Tom's still downstairs having fun. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's here to tell us about all that good stuff that they've got cooking in there. Hey, Tom. Yeah, we love Food Truck Friday, and today we're uh, working in, in Food Truck 5280, as you said, Heather, and what we're doing is checking out a new food truck that uh, really the product of a family that was just trying to see what the food truck business is all about. Steve and Kerry Rockwood, and Steve with us. Good morning. Thanks morning, for coming Tom. down. Yeah, thanks so for, tell us the story. You kind of just decided you wanted to give it a shot. Yeah, you know, we've always, uh, I love food, and I I'm I'm love to eat, mm -hmm. and that sort of spawned this. and. Uh, decided to kind of play around with it, you know. I, I should do it. I love food. I love to eat. <laughs> I just can't make it like you oh. can. No, you're, you're going with right now. You're, you're featuring Mexican food. Absolutely, yes. That's a, that's the core of what I like. That's the core of what I feel like I'm good at. But at the same time, you know, at some point down the road, we can do other things. I'm hoping. But well, let's take a look. Uh, Jen's shooting some of the stuff, but sure. let's start down here. What what are we looking at there? Uh, that is a smothered corn tamale, sweet corn tamale. Mm -hmm. Uh, with my homemade green chili uh, pico on top of it, and then I have a uh, chicken stuffed version next to that. So basically, another corn tamale that has chicken inside of it. Right. Uh, once again, with homemade uh, pork based green chili. And then you have a sandwich. Yeah, that's actually a torta. Um, it's a basically a Mexican style sandwich. Let's pop it open and see what's in there. Yeah, oh yeah, you bet. What is that in there? So there's uh, refried beans, right. meat, cheese, lettuce, guacamole. Pico de Gallo and a Southwest sauce that I built. I love all those things. Yes, it's it's kind of a mess, but it, it sure is uh, sure is good. A couple of soft shell items. Yeah, here. Uh, this is a chicken uh, chicken soft shell taco mm -hmm. on flour, and then I have a smoked pork on uh, corn tortillas. So you're just getting into the business. You've been doing it for a couple of weeks now. Where are we going to find you? Uh, you're going to find me in the Westminster Broomfield area at the local microbrews up there. Okay, so what what have you found so far? We've had so many food trucks in here. Some have sure. been doing it for a few years. Right. What's it like? I mean, I think a lot of people think about it, and you guys, as empty nesters, kind of decided to give it a yeah. run. W yeah. What have you found? Um, it's fun. Mm -hmm. um, the people are very nice. They're very welcoming. They're very casual. Um, it's a great sort of environment, as well as you start thinking about festivals and things like that. I mean, right, it's basically a party atmosphere that people are just there for food and to have a good time. So I think that's going to be... Uh, a good place for us to just hang out and enjoy spending our time together. Yeah, I was going to say, you get to spend time with your wife, Carrie, so that's lovely. Yeah. Well, hopefully people can check out uh, Food Truck 5280. We'll put some information about how you can find the truck on our website at kwgn.com. Thanks so much for coming down. Thank you, Tom. Continued success, and uh, we'll be bringing some upstairs, Heather. I can't wait. I'm ready for that. Oh, boy, yeah. <laughs> bring it up. He always says, I'll bring some right up, and then we never see him again. Really? He's, he's, I need to go get it. He's I, going straight to the golf course from I'll, here. I'll, I'll leave. <laughs> I'll, I'll go. <laughs> Bye, Tom. See you in a minute.